plus 25% burn damage. So it has a longer reach and it does burning damage. Nice. So yeah, hey. Durant is a uh, melee fighter mostly. And as is usual in these games, we go and explore every single little oh, hello, piece. Yes, I saw. So what spells do we have? We have got Armor of Faith. It creates a tangible seal shield of faith. Increasing damage reduction and of allies. Bob's condemnation punishes a target for their sins. Decreasing deflection for shield and flexible will. So that makes it easier to hit stuff. That increases accuracy and damage. That strikes fear into the enemy. That snares. That increases concentration and will. Okay, that's good if I'm going to be a my wizards are going to be attacked. Steal the mind of allies in the area of effect against all external fears. Heal. Withdraw isolates a single target from protector's sphere, shielding them from harm while they're regenerate. regenerate. So that's like sanctuary. Okay. Consecrated ground. Long lasting circle of healing, regenerating ally endurance. That's pretty nice. Inflicting burn damage and lowering deflection. Okay. Increasing might and resolve. Creates a slow moving energetic projection of the priest's faith, returning endurance to allies and inflicting freeze damage to the enemies. So this is kind of an interesting spell. It's cast like that ranged thing that we had earlier. Any allies it hits, it heals. Any enemies it hits, it does damage to. It's actually pretty nice. That's in subconscious uncertainties, reducing the speed of all enemies. So unlike the uh, wizards, clerics have a lot of buffs and debuffs. Right, so I think I'm just going to start out with an armor of faith just to boost our strength a little. Hey. And in the meantime, let's have the mages do their usual opener, which is their base spell. Him in the lee. Let's bring. Oh no, don't go that way. Alright, you just nail them all. Aloth. Let's have you do another of your fire spells. Good. Ones that mattered. Let's bring them up here. I don't have any of those left. Do you, however, do. Need to waste a first level spell on that. If that tree wasn't in the way, we'd have a bit Aye. more space for the Alright, if you get back, you can cast that. We knocked him prone, but you didn't get him. So let's just blast him with a high level spell. You can hit him with a magic missile. Yes. Lava! Locking him down. Let's have it. Get up, Ayla. You wimp. Use the last one left. So just nail him with one of those. You have no real offensive spells left. Double disengage. That was a mistake. Yeah, his por his portrait is pretty sweet. Like he he is my favorite character in terms of writing. I would say. Like Durant's just really really good. Hey. Interesting character, to say the least. My favourite in terms of personality would be Edda. Oh, There's right one other then. one called um, Grieving Mother. It's also very good. Ooh, castle. Or something. Where are we? Magrin's Fork. Still in a fairly low level area, I think. So we shouldn't overestimate how strong we are. In fact, we are extremely slow on um, spells, with the exception of Durant's. What? How long does that last? It's 37 seconds. Not very long. That lasts for 12 seconds. That lasts for 25 seconds. So these are all combat spells. Hey. Do you have anything mm. per combat? 
Second wind, one per encounter, requires athletics one. Really? I'm here. Do these guys have it. Oh, they do. So they all have a self-endurance heal. Ha! Hi. Okay, that has definitely changed. I think this used to be a fighter-only skill. So they've completely overhauled how the um, the skills in the game work, like athletics and hey. survival and that type of thing. What? what skills do you have? You didn't tell me. Bears fortitude. What does that give you? Plus ten fortitude. Wait, what skills? Oh, pff, right in front of me. Level four law. We're gonna have a lot of law. Yeah, your mechanics. For some reason, in my other game. He was my main trap monkey. Like, I didn't have a rogue, so Durant, my priest of fire, was the guy who snuck ahead and disarmed hey. traps and things. It's just kind of funny how that works. Alright, keeping an eye out. Be a bit quiet coming along here, because I don't know what there is. A dilapidated farmhouse. Like, this looks very similar to an area where you find your first ogre in Baldur's Gate. Don't think that's the case here. But in Baldur's Gate, there'd be an ogre standing right there. Oh, there is a willow voice. Immune to disease, ground, hobbled, poison, prone, sickened, and snuck. Stuck. Alright, let's just launch an all-out attack. Go. Let's use our once per encounter spells. And let's get another. Actually, this guy's going to be using magic. Will o' wisps usually are magical. So let's. What do we have that boosts magic resist? I'm sure we have something. Apparently, we don't. That would be a constant heal, which I don't think we particularly need. Let's just do damage reduction, because I think that does apply to everyone. I'm here. There we go. You don't have any first level offensive spells, do you? Just have that one. Let's back you up. Oh! Shoot one of those through. Oh, did we kill it? Hmm? Nope. Watch it with that. It's friendly. Let's nuke that. Oh, is that right? Because you're currently flagged as an enemy because you were confused or something. Oh, I'm almost dead. How may I have honor over there? I shall. No, we killed it. Oh, marvelous. Hey. Okay. I am what? not trusting that. Let's go to stealth mode. Just do a quick look around here. Right. Just a rod, lockpicks, and silver luskies, lust, I don't know what they're called. Hey, the better part of valor. All right, let's head over here. I was expecting it to just open the door rather than just going in. Anything in here? Okay. What? Go and check for stuff then, Durant. Let's see what we see. Uh, how many supplies do we have? We have three. Could do with resting. I wonder if we can rest in here. Oh. Hey. Use up one of our heals here. So you can get a heal multiplier or damage reduction. I think we're just going to go with damage reduction all the way around. So this is how uh, survival works. You can basically choose a a resting perk for the next day. And Mordred is still getting a bonus versus beasts. Yeah. Kind of want to give you more movement speed, but then you'd be faster than everyone else. No, this is fine. You have no survival skill. Alright, let's rest this. See what we 
See if anything sneaks up on us in the night. Nope. All right, onwards. Okay, night time again. But we're healed up, we have all our spells. There, that one! Get that one! Gold packed paladins. Right, so gold packed paladins I think are basically mercenaries. They are paladins, but they're mercenaries. Um, we're going to wait here. We're not going to cast that on us again. We're going to do it slightly ahead because I'm expecting you to come straight forwards. That mage has got to die. Let's just pelter with loads of magic missiles. Oh, bloody hell, Trance. Let's get a heal off on yourself, please. One more hit and she's as good as dead, so I'm just going to hit that. Yep, she is. Did you get that heal off? You did. Let's get another one off on yourself, I think. Who's this? This is Mordred. You are going to... Cast that on yourself. Tank a bit. There we go. Mo as well. Oh. <laughs> down, down, no, danger. Let's have you switch weapons so you are ranged and shoot them. Mordred, you're looking a little worse for the wear. I'm going to cast... Oh, I can't quite get you both. I can, however, get you with this. Do that. You're both shooting that one. Morty, what can you do for me? I can do another. Okay, you're dead. There we go. Did take a bit of a beating in there, and we used up a lot of our magic. Uh, Aeloth has got all of his, hey. but Mordred used most of his spells. We did, however, get some better armor. So you can grab that, that, and that. Great sword, yes, we'll give you that as well. Everything else can go in here. And whatever you have. A grimoire, which we'll give to Mordred. Grimoires often contain spells that your wizard may or may not know. For a small cost, you can learn those spells from the description panel. You may also fill additional grimoires with different spells. Place them in your wizard's quick item slot to switch them, but be careful. Switching grimoires will temporarily lock wizards out of spell casting for several seconds. Okay. We have a wand, which we'll also give to you, and we have a mage robe and Ludrana's orders. Good. Okay. So who's trying to get us killed? First of all, though, mail armor. Quite a lot better DR than the Saint's War armor, which I'll probably give to you. Because you're just wearing robes, aren't you? DR of 3, DR of 7. Yeah, you're a bit of a frontline fighter. That is a 16 deflection. Which means that your accuracy is going to be terrible. But you're a tank. You're not here to, to actually hit stuff. Yeah, you're one-handed weapon. That's fine. You could use the padded armor, but that would slow you down. No, we want you to basically. You're completely nukers. You're you're not going to wear armor of any kind. You are just there to hit stuff quickly. So wands. Damage eleven to seventeen. How's that compare? Same amount of damage, also fast. Both two-handed. What is the difference then? Didn't really seem to be one. But I wanted fast weapons for both of you, and I seem to remember that Aeloth had a slower weapon. Yes. So you're both going to be fast casters. Which would be nice. And then let's have a look at the uh, orders. It seems like I have no choice but to provide you with instruction. Raedric's forces are spread thin, and the road through the wilds to the south of Gilded Vale lies unguarded. Given these favourable circumstances, I'm sure that even you can manage to handle a peasant or two. 
The archers tell me that Kolsk's men made south after their escape. If you should happen to retrieve one of their number, I may be convinced to, to forgive your previous mistakes. For the last time, you are to keep clear of Defiance Bay. Know that you cannot be trusted to acquire a useful specimen with even a modicum of discretion. I have no qualms whatsoever about using what materials I have at my disposal instead. Oh. So you weren't actually targeting me. Right, so we have Magic Missile, Mana Flames, Ghost Blades, Chill Fog, Fetid Caress, and Necrotic Lance. Right, let's give that to you. Because that second level spell is a bit crap. Corrode damage instantly and over time, or target becomes paralyzed. Can I, like, delete spells by any chance? Like, that one is a bit rubbish. Oh! Oh, I see. I can learn spells that are not... actually in my book yet. Interesting. Okay, so that's how this works. So we add them from here. How much does it cost? 100 copper. Interesting. Okay. And yes, I want all of them. How much money do I have? Who knows? Enough, <laughs> apparently. Okay, so second level, no, second level spells... We can give this to you. We're down to just 81. I don't think I'm going to be keeping Aloth around all the time because I already have a wizard. Um, rolling flame. We could take these in there. I'll probably get rid of that one at some point. Uh, I quite like all of these. Chill fog. Inflicting blindness and freeze damage over time to any in the area of effect. Pillars damage and hobble deflection, that would slow them down. Wizard double I would actually quite like, because it's a defensive spell. Probably more useful than Fleet Feet. Oh, Fleet Feet gives you defense when disengaging. That I had not remembered. So Fleet Feet is a way to get out of jail. Free. Okay. Yeah, and you know different spells to me. That's fine. However, I could actually give myself Aloth's Grimoire and learn those spells too. Something to bear in mind. Hey. Alright, onwards. That was a rather profitable venture. Another deer. Make sure we get the very corner. Onwards. Let's see what we come across over here. Forest troll. Do we have fire spells? We do. We do immediately take a whole bunch of damage, right? Aloth, you have spells, you do not. So you are going to yourself right to the edge. Something which makes people do fire damage, don't you? Inflicting burn damage and lowering deflection. Doing extra fire damage to a troll. Sounds like a fantastic idea to me. Oh, died. Right, and the more of a certain creature you get, the more of their information you get in the bestiary, so we're at 20% knowledge of forest trolls. So I wicked so right, probably then. full now. Troll skin. Lovely. Lots of uh, crafting goods here. Blood moss. What was that? Fulvano's amulet gives you reflexes plus five and a healing bonus. That sounds like it would be pretty good for a warrior. We have a bit more cash, so... Plus 5 reflex, plus 25% healing received. Nice. Though never as famed as you would claim, the Valayan 
Vaillian, explorer Falvano, was known as an eccentric who wished to see the world. Where possible, he travelled by foot to gain a local's appreciation for the sights, sounds and smells of the land he passed through. In practice, however, Falvano often claimed that his explorations proved only to the world outside the Vaillian Republics was a foul, smelly place that paled in comparison to his homeworld. This amulet is said to have belonged to Falvano. He was a man taken with mild superstitions, and this amulet... This... I can't even read what's there. And this talisman, he said, was a source of luck. It also served a more sentimental purpose, for it depicts one of the great ships commonly seen in the docks of his homeland. Oh, it replaces the cloak, which is just a cloak, so that's fine. Though it does mean that you are no longer wearing an awesome cloak. True letter. This piece of parchment is torn and flecked with blood and troll spittle. But little of it rem reads, worried he may have come to harm. Once I reach Defiance Bay, I will hire guides to take me back west in safety. See if we cannot find Forvano. At present, I regret my eagerness to be away from Gilded Vale. It is very dark. All right. Hey. Then. Nothing else here. Onwards. Onwards. Laying low. This is looking like something. Your reflection warps and twists in the live, gleaming Adra. You have a fine Polax. Yeah, I meant to put that in there. Hey. Thankfully, the uh, the group inventory seems to be limitless, so we we'll just keep on chucking stuff in there, which is pretty nice. Nothing in this. Oh, hello. Young boars and boars. Right, I think that this is an opportunity. Oh, what's that spell? Holy Radiance creates a field of holy energy around the priest, burning any vessels in the vicinity and regenerating a modest amount of endurance for allies. The power of the priest's holy radiance is modified by how well his or her reputation is aligned with the behaviors of her, his or her faith. Da, da, da. Right, let's chuck one of those here. I'll use my watch for encounter here. Could potentially do with giving Durant slightly lighter armor. Pretty slow at reacting. There we go. You should now heal up. There you go. Hey. Loads of boar skins. Lovely jubbly. Hmm? Uh, what was I going to check? I was going to check something, but I forget what. Yeah, see, that hey. does allow my cleric to get back up again if he ever gets knocked out, which is pretty nice. So most of this we've already checked. Well, apparently not well enough. Ah! This wolf shouldn't last very long. May as well use our once per encounter ability, so... Ah! Just do ah! more damage. Ah! Ah! Okay, we didn't go anywhere in the middle. Let's head back to the centre of the road and then head down through here and then off to the right, wasn't it? Yes, because we want to get to Black Meadow. So we may go south, see what we see there. No, we'll go right, because we are trying to get to Kadnua. I think he's off to the right.
nothing so far. Enemies, no bad guys. Make sure the fighter's at the front though. There we go. Senada. Alright. So that's that area explored. We want to get to Black Meadow. So we could also see what's down there. We'll see what's down there. That, that's probably a dead end. So we'll head south. Just have a look. See what we come across. Close way to leveling up. Where's experience? Hey. Where is experience? Ah, it's there. Everyone's fairly close. We're all level 3s now. I thought we were level 2s. Hey. My bad. Right, onwards. Anselik's Compass. There was a mission here that we needed to do. I don't remember exactly what it was, so I'll double check that in a minute. Let's check the journal. So, Smith's Shipment, that's the Black Meadow, Mother's Plea, here we go. Speak to Mother Ranga. Hello. Endrag and Tilly. The two villagers stand, stand by the side... No, for goodness sake, start again. Two villagers stand by one of the tide pools. They are breathing harshly, clearly winded, and look up nervously as you approach. Sorry, it is ten past one in the morning. <laughs> Allow me a couple of mistakes. Greetings. If you are here to fish, as we were, stranger, you want to avoid the compass proper. The dwarven woman points to the southeast. Her companion is no. Her companion shakes his head. A lot of the ships wind up spread across the rocks here, so we didn't think much of the wreckage until we heard something. A terrible noise. I thought it was a survivor, but he wasn't alive, moving, but not truly alive. It was awful. What are you two doing here? Fishing, of course. Except I lost my fishing rod when I flung it over the head of one of those monsters. We were looking the tide pools over and thought we'd try our luck down by the rocks. Got the fright of our lives. We'll have to make do with the nets here, or go hungry. You said there were a lot of shipwrecks here. The woman nods. All the time. It's a lovely place, but dangerous as anything to sail. Good fishing most days. She wipes her brow. I think we'll look further up the coast next time. What do you mean? What did you see? Corpses. Walking corp- oh. It's him again. Corpses! Walking corpses! We don't want any part of it, whatever the cause. Might be we can find something in those tide pools, and then we're headed straight home. I'm not ginger! Ah, oh, it's just the camera is slightly redder. I'm blonde! <laughs> the face is also red, and that's not because I've been drinking, because I haven't. Good tidings to you. Do you hear that? It's a camera lighting effect. <laughs> if I move back a bit. Slightly. No, not really. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Zareps. Let's go kill him. Aloth. Will these affect our friends? No, they will not. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like our friends also. Oh, shit. No, they won't survive. <laughs> Blimey. He just got jibbed. Well, one of you survived. I'm sorry. Must have been hit well hard. Hey. Gods, what a mess. Thank you for your help, stranger. You're welcome. Of course. Sorry about your friend. <laughs> he doesn't seem to care, so whatever. Didn't like her anyway. <laughs> 